I shall be talking today uh, on large optical telescopes from the time of Galileo Galilei uh, to the 21st century. Some of you may recall that the last year, that the year 2009, was celebrated as the International Year of Astronomy. That was uh, in honor of Galileo's first observations. It was there to commemorate his use of the telescope for the first time uh, for astronomy, which was done in the year 1609. Now, uh, we need to understand that Galileo's observations with the telescope were very important. He did not invent the telescope. Uh, he heard about the instrument, possibly even got his hands on one and then made a nice telescope himself. Uh, when he used the telescope to make astronomical observations, uh, it was then the biggest telescope in the world being used for the purpose. And in all cases where one uses a new instrument, he made fascinating new discoveries. So here um, in the picture, uh, you see uh, the, two, two of the telescopes which Galileo used which are in a museum in Florence at the present time. And on the right, I show you a few small images of objects which Galileo first observed. You can see the four moons around Jupiter, which are called uh, the Galilean satellites now. And then you can see a magnified version of spots of the sun. And now this is not a picture taken by Galileo, but Galileo saw a very similar picture. What I'm showing you here is a modern one. And then uh, in the middle of this slide, you see uh, a half Venus, just like uh, you see the moon uh, in different phases. One also sees Venus, the planet Venus, in different phases. Now, this was not known until a telescope was used for the observation. Now, uh, just to show you, uh, how very important thoughts and discoveries could come out of a basic observation like this. Uh, I want to elaborate a little bit about uh, how Galileo used his observations of the phases of Venus. What you see on the screen here uh, is uh, something that was taken with a small telescope in the year 2002. Uh, you can see that it was the series of photographs which was taken uh, beginning uh, in May of 2002 uh, and going on until the 23rd of October of that year. So you see that in May, uh, you can see almost full face of the planet. And then as the days and the months pass, you see that we go into the half phase. And finally, uh, in October, we have uh, the present Venus. Now there is another uh, thing which I would like to bring to your notice here um, is that when Venus is full, uh, you'll see that the size of the image is much smaller. It's about five times smaller than uh, the present Venus. Now, while these are modern observations, we can go back in time uh, to uh, the 17th century, the beginning of the 17th century, uh, to see what Galileo observed. And here I'll show you a fragment from one of Galileo's notebooks. And you see there uh, his sketches of the planet Venus, the image of Venus as he observed them. And then you find that there's a striking similarity between his drawings uh, and what I've shown on the screen, uh, which was taken with a modern telescope and imaging devices. So you see that again, when we have a crescent Venus, it is about five times bigger than the full Venus. Now, the, what Galileo achieved through his observations was not simply making new discoveries, not just saying that Venus changes its face, but also keeping a very meticulous record of these uh, observations. And then he drew very important inferences from them. Uh, though I shall not be able to elaborate on that presently, what Galileo found from, uh, what Galileo surmised from his observations of Venus was that uh, the planet Venus must be going around the sun and the earth too must be going around the sun. Because within the geocentric theory, 
that is within the theory in which the planets and the stars and everything else in the sky goes around the earth, Venus cannot have the kind of phases which are observed by Galileo. So you see that a simple observation made with a small telescope has reached to very far-reaching conclusions.